Today marks a historic day in Victoria. Victoria's Chief Police Commissioner Shane Patton has issued an apology to First Nations people for past and present actions of the force that have inflicted trauma on them. In his appearance in front of the state's Indigenous Truth-Telling Initiative, Commissioner Patton stated, I formally and unreservedly apologize for police actions that have caused or contributed to the trauma experienced by so many Aboriginal families in our jurisdiction. He explained that systemic racism and discriminatory action in the force had gone undetected and unchecked for a long period of time, and should not have had happened. The commissioner was asked if he believed oversight of police would be strengthened if there was an independent investigation of police complaints. To this he replied that he now believes such an external body would provide the necessary oversight. This apology was timely considering Victoria Police's reported $42 million in payouts in civil settlements over the past five years and other high-profile deaths in custody, such as that of Indigenous woman Tanya Day, who died after being arrested for being drunk on a train. The Uruk commissioners voiced their criticism of the content contained in internal police training materials. They highlighted how some of the topics within these materials were offensive, as they denigrated indigenous people. Commissioner Patton said he had not read the documents in their entirety and vowed to immediately review all training material to ensure it did not include similar rhetoric. Uruk Chair Eleanor Burke accepted the apology and said it was significant for it to be on the public record. The commission provided Commissioner Patton with a shield, a symbol of their plea for Victoria Police to protect indigenous communities and respect their human rights. A mother of a First Nations woman who died in 2020, also sat in the audience, yet another reminder that reform is needed. The police minister Anthony Carbines, child protection minister Lizzie Blanthorne, and corrections minister Enver Erdogan will all appear at the inquiry this week, each expected to account for the lack of accountability towards indigenous people. Uruk is Australia's first indigenous truth-telling body and has the same powers as a royal commission. Its overall mandate is to investigate historical and contemporary systemic injustices against First Nations people and is scheduled to produce a final report by mid-2025. Victoria Police, as well as other government organizations, still have much work to do in order to uphold human rights and ensure that First Nations people in Victoria are treated with the respect they deserve. The apology provided by Commissioner Shane Patton is the necessary first step towards the resolution of systemic injustices faced by First Nations people in Victoria.